This is a highly requested video. I'm coming to you from my closet. I'm going to show you how I store my handbags. <music> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure that you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. Like I said, this is a highly requested video. A lot of people want to know how I store my handbags, so I'm going to show you today. And during our quarantine crisis right now, I have actually rearranged my bags and implemented a couple new storage strategies, techniques, tools, whatever you want to call it. So I'm starting in my closet. I have my bags stored in two different places now. They used to all be in here, but I've collected too many and the closet became overrun and I had to move some out into my office. So I'm going to show you what's in here first. These are the luxury bags, the more expensive bags, the brand name bags, and then I have the dupes outside in the office. I wanted to keep the higher end bags in here because in my closet there's no dust and there's no light. Whereas out in my office I have a window and there's more dust in there. So the bags I care more about that are more like investment pieces are in here. Okay, let's get started. Hello, Roxy. A lot of people have been asking to see the pups. There's one of them. Hi, Roxy girl. All right, I'm going to start by standing on the floor here and just giving you an overview of the top of my closet, which is where the bags are stored. So I just have these wire shelves. I'm in an apartment and this first rack came pre-installed and then the boyfriend installed that second row there. Okay, now I'm gonna climb my ladder here and get more eye level with the bags. Prior to quarantine, I just had all my bags stacked on these two wire shelves and they were, there were so many that they were just stacked side by side where I could only see the end of the bag. Like, I could see the ends of the bag like that and not the front of the bag. And I had them arranged by type of bag. So like all the Neverfulls used to be over here and then all the Speedies. Now I have them arranged by color and pattern. So you can see my light bags, like the Dami Azure, those are up there together. And they're all sitting on dust bags so that they don't get any indentations from the wire on the bottom of the bags. Then I have my monogram pieces together. So let me just, just tell you and point out what things are. This one here is a dupe. It's from shopilovejewelry.com and I'll link them below. It's a dupe for the Chanel Deauville tote. And then there's the Neverfull MM and the Speedy 25. And then Monogram is right under that. I've got the Vintage Noe, the Delightful Original Model, Speedy 35, and the Turin MM. Now the Turin handles need to stand up because if they lay down, then they'll get a like a white line on the chap there. So I hang this as hook from the wire above it and hung the handles from there and that just keeps them upright so that the patina is even on the bag and it barely has any patina because it sits in here in the dark most of the time on the other side I have my Ben pieces there's the Neverfull MM the Speedy 30 and the Eva clutch and then there's my coach field tote with the rocket design Love that bag. Up above that is my biggest collection. It's all the black bags. There's another Deauville tote from the same website. I, I tell you what, the two pleather ones that they have, I really recommend the canvas over the pleather because this doesn't hold its shape as well as the canvas. Then there's a Neverfull MM and Epi, the Chanel Shop in Moscow tote, the Noe and Epi vintage bag. This is a Teddy Blake Birkin dupe. That's a Teddy Blake bag, the Bella Croco. There's my Coach Cassie in black. And then that last bag is the Coach Alexa in black. And then the back wall that you saw behind me in the very first shot has my metallic bags and then those two that don't really have another place to go but I wanted to keep them in here because they're nicer bags. That's a Teddy Blake Birkin dupe in green. This is a Brahmin bag. And then my three metallics, the Louis Vuitton Suhali Locket in bronze, the Louis Vuitton Mahina XS, I forget what that color is called, and the Shop in Moscow tote by Chanel in bronze. And you'll notice that these two are each hanging from a stand. And I'm thinking about getting a stand for my Turin also for the same reason. And that reason is that these bags are slouchy and if they're just sitting on the shelf they're gonna start falling in on themselves over time but if they're hanging 
I feel like that will help keep the shape better. And I got those two stands from Amazon. I think they were $30 or $40 for the pair. They were very easy to set up. I just actually just got them last night. And I will have those linked below in case you want to add those to your closet. I actually got the idea from Yota Style and she got the idea from someone else. But that's one of the nice things about YouTube is getting all these ideas. And then just in case you're wondering, that's a painting I did a long time ago of one of our Doberman. And then while I'm up here on the ladder, let me give you a little overview. I have some bag charms hanging from these they're little tie racks. And then I have some of my pochettes here and little wallets and card holders just organized in boxes on that shelf. And then sunglasses are laying there and jewelry is over there. I know people want to see a jewelry collection too. I'm not sure what to do with that. And then I have scarves hanging from these scarf tie racks and my clothes are behind me. So let's go right outside the closet door to that thing where I have more handbags. Oh, and before we do that, behind this mirror, I know I've shown you this before, I have these hooks, these metal S hooks that I also got from Amazon. And those are storing a bunch of totes that fold and can be back there and that I don't that I don't use very often. Okay, we're back in my office now. Here's my very messy desk where I film and uh, there's you know the background you'd recognize. So over here I have this cabinet with books and paintings that were done by a friend and then here are the pups. Did a little old time photo shoot with them. They're both laying in their bed under my desk right now. Hello again, Roxy darling. And what I wanna show you, of course, are these bookshelves. These are new, I got these during quarantine. And I got them off Amazon. They were very inexpensive. You know, bookshelves can be so expensive. These were $40 per unit, and I have three different units here. And you can stack them on each other and sort of make them as tall as you want, as long as you're being careful and you know, if you need to anchor it to the wall, it comes with anchors. Mine are not because I don't have heavy things on them. But let me show you a close up of the shelves themselves. And they come in different colors and these pieces come in different shapes. Like you can get them square, you can get them round, you can get one that looks hourglass like kind of. So these pieces are particle board. You can see underneath it has the board and you can get those in different colors. This is the espresso or the black i'll have to look and i'll tell you in the description box below and like i said that's particle board this is actually plastic which seems like it's super cheap but i think that they look really nice actually so i have two units together but i've been able to stack them higher than they originally came originally they have five shelves so one two three four five they would just go to right about there just for reference they'd be this high just one shelf I'm 5'3", a little under five feet. And I'll put the dimensions of the shelves themselves below. But I like that they're really open so you can see everything. The color goes well with my espresso bookshelves that I got from Target. And they were super, super easy to put together. You don't have to use any tools at all. This piece just screws into this piece. Very, very easy, very fast, and they're sturdy. So in case you're interested in the bags, let me get you a quick overview. Like I said, these are all dupes. There are a couple of fakes on here too that I've told you about before. Hello again, Roxy darling. You have to be the center of the action, eh? So there's the Antigona dupe. There's some garden party dupes over there. Those are all Kelly dupes. These are Chanel dupes. There's one Chanel dupe there, the rest are Birkin dupes. There's a Speedy dupe, an Hermes Lindy dupe, a Vuitton on the go dupe, Birkin dupes, and then these are the two fake ones, a Goyard dupe from, or a Goyard fake from Amazon that I didn't realize was fake when I bought it. And the only fake Louis Vuitton I have, which I bought before I ever started buying authentic Louis Vuitton. And one thing I did when I started moving my bags around during quarantine was I got out a lot of my scarves and my bag charms and I decorated my bags so that I can see them. And I think it looks really nice like that. I have the most expensive bag charms and 
scarves back in the closet over there. Again, just to keep them protected. So that is how I'm storing my handbags these days. Did you learn anything? What tips were most helpful? What do you think you might try? What tips do you have for me that you see like maybe I'm doing something wrong or there's something that you know that might help to keep these bags stored better? I do have a lot of them stored with air paper too, like bubble wrap kind of stuff to help keep the shape. So let me know. And thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I hope to see you back here next time. Have a fantastic day. Bye.